I now understand why your counsel tries to control your pleasure as well as your anger. Pleasure is a far more powerful motivator. What makes pleasure more dangerous than other emotions? Pleasure is the foundation of all desires. There is nothing that inspires so much anger as thwarted longing. I still remember the feel of sunlight on my skin. The scent of favorite foods. The color of my first love's eyes. To experience those simple pleasures again would be worth anything. See? You haven't lost your humanity after all. Do not mock me. I understand why your counsel controls you. What I'll never comprehend is why you let them. You have surprised me, Jedi. You have the heart of a Sith. Had you been born on Korriban, you would be sitting on the Dark Council now. It is too late to turn you fully from the light. But should your children have a connection to the Force, I will see them properly trained. Was that a compliment or a threat? How did you take it? The Force is strong in you. Too strong for the restrictions the Jedi impose. Had you been instructed in the true way of the Force, the galaxy could not match your power. I will make sure that mistake does not happen again. Lindley, well, she was a sweet girl. Wonder whatever happened to her. Hope she caught that shuttle off Malice there. Probably should have left her some credits. Oh, hey. Strangest thing. I was chatting with Kira and... I suddenly had this urge to rethink my past relationships. Any brilliant insights you'd like to share? Ah, it occurs to me I haven't always been a gentleman. My intentions were pure. It was the follow-through that got me in trouble. On the other hand, the follow-through is why they always forgave me. I'm... I'm overanalyzing things. I should eat something. This end of the galaxy business we're always mixed up in. Can't last, right? And sooner or later we'll win. Then what? I've always been happy to just drift from one system to the next. Settling down is for settlers. The thing is, there's a lot to be said for a home-cooked meal and a warm bed at the end of the day. Are you sure you'd be happy living a quiet life? Me? <laughs> I'm talking about the rest of this crew. We've got to convince Kira Rusk and the others to retire. They're taking up valuable crew space we could use for more... interesting personalities. We could hire a Zeltron or even a Thelen. Ugh, they're easy on the eyes. This crew could be colossal. Think about it. Funniest thing, that thrill I used to get from saving a patient? It's gone. Once you're saving the galaxy, nothing else compares. I mean, how many doctors get to say they saved the septillion beings? I'm thinking it's just me. No one knows how many living beings there are in the galaxy. Good point. Could be twice that many. Point is, if you hadn't taken me along for this ride, I would have missed out. I appreciate that. In fact, I am offering free medical care for you and anyone else you want. Lifetime guarantee. Does that offer expire with me? Good question. I'm gonna live forever, but you can't expand my commitments after you're gone. We'll figure it out later. When I was first given this assignment, I believed it would be an excellent opportunity to serve the Republic. I underestimated. It has been the greatest honor of my life. The honor has been all mine, Sergeant Rusk. Thank you, Master Jedi. I promise you, I'll train the squad to be the most efficient fighting machine in the Republic, even the droid. I'm with you until the bitter end. Victory or death! Just got an interesting hollow message. Childhood friend of mine. Think you'll want to see it. He's gone. Everyone knows that. But his voice, still in my head. Can't sleep. Nothing makes sense. The Emperor is dead. Why is he still talking? You silenced him, Kira. Show me how. Please. Please. 
Name's Shuri. Trained with her on Korriban before I left. She's a child of the Emperor. Is there a chance the Emperor survived? Is he trying to contact his slaves? Don't look at me. I'm just the messenger. Shuri's gone rogue from the Empire. Holed up at one of our favorite vacation spots. Voss. And whether or not we can help her, we sure don't need another crazy Sith wandering Voss. We'll set course for Voss immediately. I have Shuri's coordinates. We'll confront her together and figure this out. Stay back! Stop talking! You're not real. None of you. Calm down. We're plenty real. You! No. There's no hope. He won't be silent. He puts words in me. Come with us. We can teach you how to defy his will. The Emperor's gone, Shuri. He can't control you. He wants me to flee? Uh, no. Uh, attack. Set fire to Ord Mantell. Uh, wait, that's wrong. Freeze the oceans of Manan. Changing commands. Which are lies. What is truth? Can't live like this. Help me. Kill me. Death isn't the answer. We'll find another way. No other path. Death brings silence. Enough. Leave us, Jedi. She is our sister. We will make her whole again. Tell me who you are and I'll consider it. Don't. I remember Tanak. He's vermin. We are children of the Emperor, like her. We understand what it means to be severed from him. With our assistance, she will regain control. Without it, she'll die. There's nothing you can do. Nice story. Got a better one. We take her to Tython and she gets real help. We can free Suri from the Emperor's will. Loyalty to the Emperor is forever. And she does not want to be free. Tell the Jedi how you summoned me. You begged for my help. I... yes. He'll rearrange the words. They won't hurt anymore. I'll be silent. What's the plan? Let her go with them? Or fight it out? Blast, I hate this. My gut says let her go. A wise choice. Come along, Shuri. Things would have gone bad if we'd pushed them. This way, we get another chance to bring Shuri around. I wish the Jedi Council could see you right now. They will. I recorded the whole thing. People need to know the children of the Emperor are still a problem. Voss gives me the creeps. Let's get off this rock. Been thinking about that bad party we went to on Voss. Raises a lot of questions. If Tanak was being honest, the children of the Emperor are still hearing his voice. That bother you? The Sith shouldn't be receiving messages from a dead man. Plenty of Force users keep jabbering long after they're dead. Emperor might be one of them. We still haven't learned how the Emperor was able to control people. This could simply be a byproduct of that. Just wish we knew for sure. Keep waiting for that other boot to drop. One bright spot to this? I'm not hearing strange voices. The Emperor and me? Definitely over. Still remember the first time I met you on Tython. All I could think was, why is Master Satil fawning over this girl? Now I know, you're the best Jedi in the Order, and a good friend. With you and me together, the Sith don't stand a chance. I'll always have your back, boss. Not to get sentimental, but if anything happens to you, I'll take care of your people. Don't worry about them. Thank you, Kira. That means a lot. Figure you carry enough on your shoulders. Never hurts to have backup. Let's go, partner. Still got plenty of work to do. I'm Supreme Commander Rans of the Republic. It's an honor to speak with someone who's done so much to help the cause. 
By defeating the Emperor, you've dealt a crippling blow to his followers. You single-handedly turned the tide of this war. The Republic already owes you a debt it can never repay. But I'm calling because we need your help again. Give me the mission, and I'll get right on it. As a Jedi, I'm sure you're familiar with the ice world of Ilum. It's one of the galaxy's primary sources of lightsaber crystals. The remnants of the Empire's forces have invaded Ilum en masse. We sent reinforcements, but they're getting overwhelmed. If this is the Empire's last gasp, I would have expected them to strike at a more populated world. Ilum's not your typical target. This is a raid, pure and simple. They're trying to strip the planet bare. The crystals on Ilum are unique, and the Empire has found a way to use them to amplify cloaking systems. With enough crystals, they could build an invisible armada, an entire fleet capable of striking any Republic world without warning. We're leaving for Ilum right now, Commander. Please hurry. The Imperials are led by a man named Darth Arho. He's throwing everything they've got at us. We can't hold out much longer. Report to the Republic space station orbiting Ilum ASAP. A shuttle will take you down to the surface. We're using the Jedi Temple as a makeshift headquarters for our operations. Meet me there and I'll give you a full briefing. Rand's out. Chechopa kuma ni umpi but malia bedwana ni bobo. Commander Rands is waiting for me at the Jedi Temple. I bet he's not. Darth Arho's troops have taken over the temple. Commander Rands and the others barely made it out alive. Had to set up their command post in an unsecured field. You need to speak to Commander Rands. I can take you there. Get on board and hold tight. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. Good, you're here. As you can see, we need all the help we can get. Let me introduce our allies. Master Bowden of the Jedi, and Commanders Karawar, Giandar, and Yetjub. <coughs> No, Karawar. The attack on the temple is to distract us from Darth Arho's true goal. Just as the peace talks blinded us before the sacking of Coruscant. If we don't hit them at the temple, then where do we strike? The Imperials want Ilum's crystals. They're using deep miners to drill into the planet's core. The excavations leave massive sinkholes. The entire world's becoming unstable. If we don't stop them, Ilum could literally crack in two. Mem Amgap Kugap. Kramanik. Umka Kiga Mayamak. After you've cleared each mine, call us and we'll send reinforcements in to hold the area. This base doesn't seem very secure. Maybe you and the other commanders should retreat to one of the ships in orbit. We can't do that. The best place to oversee the efforts of our troops is right here on the surface. Stopping the deep miners won't end this. Unless we locate the Imperial Command Post. They'll figure out another way to harvest Ilum's crystals. Good idea. After you disable each deep miner, download the mine's terminal data log. Bring all the data to Agent Sam Bradbur at the communications center for analysis. The fate of Ilum is in your hands. May the Force be with you. I'm at the last mine. Everything's all clear. Get that transmission data to Sam Bradbur. He's waiting for you at the Republic Communications Center. Agent Bradbur, I've got the data from all the mine terminals. You Jedi types do good work. Rands was smart to put you on this. Let me contact him while this data's decrypting. Supreme Commander Rands here. Master Bowden is with me too. Do we have the location of the Imperial Command Center? Just got the coordinates. Looks like the orders are coming from a small Imperial base on the ground. SIS scouted it before, but didn't think it was important enough to have priority. With the whole planet under siege, Arho knew Republic intelligence would overlook something so minor. I doubt Darth Arho's actually there. SIS reports show he likes to stay clear while someone else handles things on the front lines. He probably put his personal apprentice in charge. Lord Loriat is every bit as cruel and ruthless as her master. SIS has a file on her. Pretty good to the lightsaber. Killed at least a dozen other Sith during her time on Korriban. 
Never punished for it. Arrow protected Loyette. Their relationship goes deeper than Master and Apprentice. If we capture Loyat, maybe we can use her as leverage against Darth Arho. Darth Arho is consumed by the dark side. He will cast her aside when she ceases to be useful. You can try to arrest her if you think that's best. But I won't miss her if she winds up dead. Once the base is out of commission, report back to Agent Bradbur. Good luck. It's over, Lord Loyat. So, Rans has sent the great champion of the Jedi to challenge me. Your martial skills are legendary, but you will not succeed here. You have no idea what torment you are about to suffer. I am Darth Arho's personal apprentice. Those who hear my master's name tremble in fear. I don't see your master anywhere. It's just you and me. You know nothing of my Darth Arho. He embodies all the Dark Council represents. His wrath is legendary. Master, hurry to my side. Together we will destroy these Republic fools. Darth Arho, can you hear me? It is I, Lord Loyat. Master, are you there? Your master isn't coming. It's just you and me, and you can't win this battle. Drop your weapons, and I promise you'll be treated fairly. Arho may have abandoned me, but I still command the power of the dark side. I yield! I yield! The base is secure. I need a squad to take Lord Loyat into custody. But Darth Aho always claimed the dark side was stronger than the light. He swore the Empire would always triumph over the Republic. He lied to me. He used me. And then he betrayed me. I am nothing but a fool. Now you see the truth. You still have to pay for your crimes against the Republic, but it's not too late to choose a different path. Thank you. Your words give me... comfort. Something I have not felt in a long, long time. Take her into custody. I need to get back. Agent Bradbur is waiting for me. Take whatever you can carry. Wipe everything else clean. Let's go! We're mobile in five minutes! What's going on? Our host troops has raided our command post. Massive casualties on both sides. Our boys drove them off, but the imps captured Supreme Commander Rans. Gian Dars ordered everyone back to the command post. Is this a retreat, or is he massing troops for a counterattack? Your guess is as good as mine. Grab your gear and head back. Gian and the others will want to speak with you. We'll be right behind you. <laughs> If we storm the temple, Darth Aho might kill the Supreme Commander. We lost Commander Jubb in the attack, and can't afford to lose Rans too. Mem amgap kugap, kramanik, umka kiga mayamak. Why do you think the Imperials captured Rans instead of killing him? They knew it would turn you against each other. You're right. We must remain calm. There is no emotion. Only peace. Alam Giga Akapa. Greetings, Republic Commanders. My name is Darth Maldus. Time is short, so I will be blunt. I've been providing Supreme Commander Rans information to help him defeat Darth Aho. I'm here to offer you the same. Let me guess. Arho's one of your main rivals within the Empire, so you're using the Republic to eliminate him. More or less. The war is over. The Republic won. If we keep fighting, you will destroy us. I accept this. Darth Arho does not. He's a member of the Dark Council, but he's a thug. The Council needs someone more... progressive. If the Empire hopes to survive. Someone like you, I suppose. 
openly opposing Aho would draw the wrath of the Dark Council. But by helping you eliminate him, we both get what we want. You're a Sith. You use lies and deception to get what you want. I'm only here to provide information. Whether you choose to use it is up to you. Come on, Nemega, Nagaka. Manalak Laki, Napi Nekamaraka. They're holding him in a secret POW camp. The perimeter is ringed with droid defended security towers. Any breach will set off the alarm. I'm transmitting the location of the camp and the codes to disable the tower alarms. Use them as you see fit. I've got a bad feeling about this. Kamperem ganyam bajiyang. Mani kikum bukam. We can trust Malgus for one reason. He's acting out of self-interest. He hates Darth Arho more than he hates us. Niba ga glamka. Gakyam. Glaknimu amya galak. Um nuk inu nemnu. Amka akka memperlak palak. I know you're working with someone inside the Empire. Give me the traitor's name! Sorry. I'm not too good with names. I remember faces. Maybe if you show me some holograms. There are nine levels of pain we can inflict. That was level three. Remember it before your next answer. Let's see if you have the guts to stand up to someone who can fight back. Ah, the hypocritical code of the Jedi Knight. You condemn our tactics, yet you took the life of my apprentice. And for that, you must suffer. You abandoned her when she called on you for help. She had to prove herself. She knew the price of failure. Now you will earn the price of defying me. Destroy her! Let Loyat's defeat be avenged by her screams of torment. I owe you my life. We all do. Chuba unobunko chenomanata. Arho knows we're here. He's going to send reinforcements. You're right. I can hear them coming down the hall. We have no armor, no weapons. You have to hold them off and give us a chance to escape. The beska kukape ma watabo. Tenya nucha dubota. We'll meet you back at the Republic Command Post. Good luck. And thank you. You made it back alive. Only because of you. I'm running out of ways to say thanks. Did the rest of the Republic prisoners make it back? Every last one of them. Our medics are looking them over. Some of them were in pretty bad shape. Incoming call, Commander. Looks like it's your Imperial friend. Good to see you alive and well, Supreme Commander. With you back at the helm, Darth Aho's becoming desperate. He's ordering his ships to land on Ilum's surface, to be equipped with prototype versions of the stealth technology. The battlefield's not secure. Landing ships here gives us a chance to take out his entire fleet. Only if you know where to find them. Aho knows someone in the Empire is working against him. He's keeping the location of the landing site secret. That is all I can tell you. I won't contact you again. Aho grows suspicious. If we reveal Darth Malgus is the one who helped us, maybe Aho will focus all his efforts on destroying the traitor. No. We have to think long term. If we expose Malgus, we can forget about other Imperials helping the Republic again. 
There's only a few spots on Ilum where a ship larger than a shuttle could even attempt to touch down. We just have to take out those landing strips. If we can disable the ships already on the ground, nobody else will be able to land. I came here to stop Darth Arho. Might as well let me finish the job. I'd send someone else if I could. But Karoar and Gian Dar are leading all available troops against key Imperial installations. I'll give you the location of the landing strips. Use these ion grenades against the ships already on the ground. You're just in time. We're discussing our final attack plans. The Imperial troops have fallen back inside the Jedi Temple. Darth Arho refuses to surrender. He knows it could take weeks before we break the Imperial defenses and reclaim the Temple. Fortunately, there is another way in. An underground escape tunnel built centuries ago. We need you to infiltrate the Temple through the escape tunnel while we engage the Imperials outside. The Imperials have had plenty of time to search the Temple. I doubt that tunnel's still undefended. You're probably right. Our offensive will draw most of the defenders away. But I'm sure you'll still have plenty of imps to deal with. I know the Temple well. If you clear the way, I can lead a team of Jedi to capture key strategic locations, like the Armory. Without Master Bowden's Jedi, our troops will suffer greater casualties. But it might be worth it to get your hands on the Armory equipment. I won't sacrifice lives just so I can get my hands on some Imperial weapons. Then we'll engage Darth Arho's Sith followers while the rest of the troops take on the Imperial soldiers. What about air support, Commander? The Sullustan pilots are itching for a chance to avenge Yet Job. I share their pain, but the Temple houses many irreplaceable artifacts that are unlikely to survive a series of airstrikes. It's your call. Your mission to infiltrate the Temple will be a lot harder without air support. Those artifacts could turn out to be useful in our war against the Empire. We can't risk having them destroyed. You heard the Jedi, Bradbur. Keep the Sullustans grounded. Copy that, Supreme Commander. Here is the location of the escape tunnel into the Jedi Temple. Go there now. I'll send you updates on the progress of the battle. Good luck. I should have known they'd send a Jedi to retake the Temple. You may have won the battle for Ilum, but the war is far from over. Even if you defeat the Empire a thousand times, we will always rise again. You keep rising up, I'm just gonna keep smacking you down. Then you must not leave Ilum alive. Your death will be an inspiration to all who serve the Empire. Victory is ours. All Imperials on Ilum have surrendered. But success was costly. The names of all who gave their lives on Ilum will never be forgotten. I know as a Jedi you expect no reward, but I want to give you something for your efforts to save the artifacts inside the Jedi Temple. 
kalam jemrani naya nemkiri commander you read me just picked up a transmission from Darth Malgus Malgus is dangerous with Darth Arho out of the picture it won't be long before he starts looking for a new enemy. Sounds like his search is over. Better take a lesson. I intercepted this message as it was being broadcast across all standard Imperial communications channels. Fellow Sith, citizens of the Empire. Too long the strength of the Empire has been beholden to the infighting of the Dark Council and the disappearance of an apathetic Emperor. Sith, children of Sith and warriors everywhere, I declare a new empire, open to all who long for conquest, freedom from inhibition, and the right to follow their passions. I suspected he'd betray us, but this is something else. The Dark Council is dissolved. Those who would join Darth Seravin in supporting me, cast aside your titles and let me lead you to victory. Those who will not, prepare to face our stealth armada. The Emperor is gone. His station and power are mine. We will conquer the galaxy while the Emperor sleeps. I'll say this for Darth Malchus. He's got charisma. That's what makes him so dangerous. If he unites the surviving Imperial commanders, this war will start up all over again. I know I've asked too much of you already. And we have to take Darth Malgus out. And soon. I defeated the Emperor. There's no way I'll let some wannabe take his place. Don't underestimate him. He wouldn't have made this power play if he didn't have the strength to back it up. I must confer with our top military minds. Equip yourself for battle, then hurry to join our meeting. The fate of the galaxy is at stake.